know how many years to put everything in here together, but officially I moved into my new house and with that comes the new closet tour. This room is an extra bedroom in the house that I converted into a kind of master closet for all of my stuff. And I've been collecting clothes since I could remember. So just having these pieces out and on display um, and easy for me to see, they've been in boxes, storage, and a bunch of different places over the years that I haven't been able to see everything at one time. So this is the first introduction to, I guess, my closet. And I can't wait to get into it with you guys. This is a mix of all different types of brands, mostly streetwear, and I'm really excited to get into it. I'm not gonna waste anyone's time if you guys enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe down below, leave a comment on the video, your favorite piece in the closet that we go through today. And without further ado, let's just get right into it, Ben. So we're gonna start on the right side. I'll start off by saying this full big metal rack I actually picked up at Target. Um, I was gonna go to Ikea and a different other furniture stores to find something similar to this that I could do a build out with. And this just seemed to be the easiest and fit the aesthetic of what I was going for in here. And I didn't want it to be too fancy for the room. I just wanted it to be something very simple and to the point. So that's what we did. Came with two of these side racks and then you hang the middle bars in, which is where majority of my pants are hanging. But we'll start on the side right here. So up top, I have a big collection of hats. Um, we'll go through a couple of them, but these are just um, kind of categorized by kind of the style of the fit. We'll start it off with right here with my boys over at Bound by Soul. Shout out to Dre, JQ, Lex, all the boys over there. Just a collection of different Bound by Soul hats that they've done over the years. This is the breast cancer. This was a common hype collab. Our first collab with Down by Soul, we actually did a Suns themed collab on the purple satin, cream satin star hit. Um, just some OG stuff for the guys that have been watching the channel for a while. This was also one of our collabs along with this one and there's another one somewhere. Um, it's another collab they did with the concession stand, black one, some effing hats, stuff like that. And then I have a couple of my vintage hats. So this is actually my dad's 1996 Bulls championship hat. <laughs> just, just crazy. Like you don't see this stuff anywhere. He's got two of them actually. Shout out to the pops. Yeah, I have two more championship Bulls hats right here from my dad's personal collection, 1993. Two front patches on the white hats. I try not to wear these too much because they're white. They get torched pretty quick. Speaking of NBA hats though, shout out to the boy Kill the Hype on these two Suns collabs that he did this year doing huge things. We actually went to his son's game and got to watch his um, thing play up on the screen, the advertisement they did for these hats. So that was pretty cool. Um, a Super Bowl vintage hat and then two Bound by Soul nylon hats, some effing hats. So just a bunch of random different hats that have been kind of accumulated over the years, whether they've been sent to me or I bought them, but shout out to all the brands that uh, have ever gifted me anything. I try to hold on to it for as long as I can, unless I can gift it to someone else that can get better wear out of it than I would. but. I never sell anything that someone gives to me, so just know it's always going to a good home. So that's like kind of the first one of hats. There's some more hats over there that we'll get into later. Um, I put some of my favorite sneakers up on display. So this is a pair of Guava Union 4s. Shout out to Johnson who actually gifted these to me for my birthday, I think it was two years ago. Um, one of my favorite shoes in my entire collection. One of my favorite silhouettes as well. So shout out to Johnson for that. This stack right here, um, the top and the bottom, no way, Benji, they fell. All right, so this first stack right here, I'm not gonna go through every single thing in this closet because we would be here for a while. If you guys want an extended version of this video, uh, maybe we can come back in here and really go through everything, but I'll just kind of skim over some of the uh, vintage tees I have right here. So these are all white vintage tees. I collect a brand called No Fear. So Des actually hit me up and was like, do you want more No Fear pieces? And that just kind of spiraled into me picking up every No Fear piece that I've ever really came across. So. Uh, no fear piece right here. Um, I really don't want to unfold a lot of these, but some of them I'm gonna have to just to show you. This is a recent no fear pickup. This is one that I've been trying to track down for almost a year and uh, I passed on it, wish I didn't. And then Des hit me up uh, not too long ago, got me this one in the collection. So shout out to Des for hooking it up with that one. Crazy piece, very, very hard to find. Um, a lot of the no fear stuff in general is hard to find. Another no fear piece right here. Maybe I'll just start separating them. This is a vintage Johnson tee. Big Johnson tee. Picked this one up in uh, in Houston. So a lot of these tees, um, they have stories behind them. And that's kind of where I uh, kind of get into the hoarding side is I just can't get rid of this stuff because in some way I picked it up a certain place or from someone. Um, I actually been gifted a lot of no fear from you guys at events um, and stuff like that when we travel. Um, and we'll see some of those pieces as we go through. More no fear, more no fear. Um, some Harley tees, another no fear another no fear and then this is actually one of my favorite vintage t-shirts in the collection crazy back graphic crazy colors and a really really good wash the neck is pretty thrashed looks really good and on the older cotton tees 
when they get really, really old, they'll just start to just get softer and softer and softer. So that's what I look for in the vintage. I like to be comfy in it. Um, some of the tees get, I don't know, really messed up over time and it just makes it uh, a little tougher to wear them. So the ones that I can wear regularly are definitely some of my favorites. Damn, I just, I'm really gonna screw myself by yeah. unfolding a lot of this stuff. But yeah. dude, this is so annoying. Hey, make sure you leave a like on this video because I just put all this together and my OCD is really, really over the top as you guys can probably see. So I'm gonna go through and probably refold every single t-shirt in this stack later. But we're just gonna leave it like that for now. So that is all the white vintage tees. These are some of the black vintage tees and then also some not vintage stuff mixed in that just kind of has a good wash that makes sense but um, just more no fear a lot of no fear um, blank tees this one's actually one of my most worn no fear tees they wow. just had really good graphics and really really cool pieces i actually have a whole clothing rack in my room full of no fear like very very hard to find probably won't ever see it again no fear and uh, that will kind of be shown probably in the home tour video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Yeah, the house tour is actually gonna be following up this video, but because I actually have taken a good amount of time to kind of get everything out here um, and put together, I wanted to drop this one first. More no fear, this one is DS with the tag still. I just won't wear it because it's my only no fear tag. That's DS still. Uh, Racing T, fire, just more no fear, more no fear. This was actually one of the ones that was gifted to me. One of my favorite in my collection, the dragon graphic. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, this one, this one's nuts. Colors explode on this one too. So shout out to the homie that gifted this to me uh, when we were in, I believe it was San Antonio, I want to say. Um, definitely somewhere in Texas though. And then this side is just some more, um, more wash black tees, a bunch of no fear. <laughs> yeah, that's good. just just more no fear, guys. I could sit here and talk about every single piece for 20 minutes. Um, but I know most of you guys don't want to see that, so we'll just keep getting through it. Another one of my favorite shoes in my collection, probably my favorite shoe in my entire collection, my bread Jordan 1s. These have been worn a whole lot. No stars, heels are destroyed, but uh, shout out to Brandon. He gifted these to me on my 16th birthday, and they will never be leaving the collection, but definitely might need to get another pair of those. All right, this is uh, most of my pants, as you guys can see, um, just a bunch of different stuff. I don't really even know where to start, so I, I'll just start top to bottom, left to right. Just some cool pieces that I've just kind of picked up over the years. The NBA, Fear of God, track pant, um, a bunch of Carhartt stuff in here, old workwear, double knees, um, and a bunch of like relaxed fit Carhartt. Shout out to the boys over at Effin. You guys saw some of their hats earlier. Um, they made a cargo pant, great cargo pant. Um, one of the more recent pickups, I actually got these off Matt. I traded him a pair of my old Levi's, and these are um, some H. Lorenzo pants that I have not broken out yet, but I will very soon. So shout out to the boy Matt. Just some more black denim, some Bound by Soul stuff. You guys will see a lot of Bound by Soul in this collection. A couple of cool pairs right here. This is a pair of uh, Carhartt single knees. But this one, as you guys can see, has a little bit something special on it. We have a collab with More Heat dropping next year, a rework project. Um, so that's all I'm gonna say about this pair, but you guys will be seeing more of this in the future. And then two of my favorite pairs of double knees. Um, a lot of this stuff you guys will see looks a lot the same, but they're all different in a slight way. So this one's got the knees blown out. Um, and I actually just found these in a box yesterday when I was finishing up this room, um, but just a crazy sun faded pair of, of double knees. Yeah, those are crazy. So wow. I'm glad I have those still. I thought I lost them. What sucks about having all these pants and a lot of this stuff is, is meant for cold weather. Living in Arizona, it just doesn't get worn that much. So when anything drops below like 80, is when I start busting all this out because there's a very small window um, where I live to actually wear it. Some of the older Bound by Soul pants, the corduroy joints. This was definitely a first of its kind in my opinion. I had never really seen anyone going crazy like this on the pants until Bound by Soul started doing it. This is actually their second version. They did a gray pair originally. Anytime I ever wore these, I haven't worn them in a while, but whenever I do, someone's always asking me, where'd you get your pants? Is, uh, the boys over at Bound by Soul. So shout out to them with these two pants. Definitely inspired me um, to the cut and sew realm of clothing. Now as we're kind of branching common hype into um, some good clothing line stuff for you. So they've always kind of pushed the quality aspect of things. And that's something I've taken away from those guys. And they've just been doing it for a while. You gotta respect the game. Some more random pants, more Bound by Soul pieces. This is the 
uh, normal denim that they were going to release and held back and then they actually did a rework project as well it's a sample right yeah um so this is a sample but they are dropping them oh wow um, they might be live now. I don't know. You guys can go check, but they do have a winter collection dropping as well. So you guys should go check that out. Um, another pair of double knees. This is a more re recent pair. Honestly, the thing with double knees is they have a lot of hype and it's a good pant, but there's just not really another pant that fits me how Carhartt pants fit. They're obviously made to be worn um, frequently and I wear mine frequently, but they just fit really well. So it's hard to find like a bigger baggier pant um, that's that'll hold up. Uh, but that fits like it does so that's why i have so many of them i'm really not a double knee fanboy like that but double knee is just a good pant so i picked up the, some of the ones that i've liked this right here is one of my most recent pickups in the pant game these are actually from crystal from more heat she reworked and custom tailored uh, these pants for me so i'm excited to bust these out at some point they fit crazy good um, i just haven't found a day to pick them up yet but she blew out the knees um, took an american thunder tee and patched it with it and then opened up the bottoms a little bit, frayed them, um, and gave them kind of like an open flare look. So these fit really well and they look really good. Thank you, Crystal, for, uh, for gifting me these. Some more bound denim in here. One of my favorite pairs. This is an unreleased sample that they did, but uh, you know, I, I had to nag Dre for him. Um, he ended up sending these to me. One of my favorite pairs of pants. Super, super big on me. What also sucks is I work out. So as I work out more, unless my waist size and my leg size changes and it just makes it really hard so a lot of these pants are just big on me and i, and I just have to belt it um, and then some of it as i lose weight they just fit me even better um, i've definitely noticed that being skinnier clothes fit a lot better so i've been on the skinnier side for a little bit um, some of my camo pants this is actually a bound by soul camo cargo they did um, these fit a lot tighter than most of their other pants that fit looser so those don't get worn too much anymore um, some more camo Wrangler stuff and then um, just some other stuff that I've thrifted so good little selection of camo definitely don't think I need five pairs of camo because there's another one right here like a digital camo right here and then I actually bought these off uh, Larry from private selection shout out to full fit Larry he was selling a bunch of his pleasure stuff um, picked up some stuff a lot of this stuff I'm like I need it and then I just never wear it but I know at some point I will this row right here is just gonna be a bunch of sweatpants most of them essentials um, some of my favorite pants right here in the summertime. It's like a nylon Siberia Hills all white pant Super fire picked those up like years ago. A lot of this stuff. I've had for like years and years I'm telling you um, some more sweats over here These I went crazy on because it took me so long to find them and I actually got them all for retail at the EE store in Miami uh, But this material is just so cozy. So I ended up picking them up in every color they had <laughs> uh, I had the purple pair too and I sold those to my boy um, shout out to my boy Reborn Studios. Uh, just gifted these to me last week. Haven't got a chance to break them out yet, but a little Louis bootleg deal. Um, super fire though. Crazy colors. Probably will break those out in the spring. For me, a lot of these colors and stuff are very seasonal, so I only kind of break certain stuff out at certain times, or if I'm in a specific state or city that there's kind of like some flavor to, um, I'll try and like bounce the fit off of that. But for the most part, um, I keep it pretty neutral. I guess today I'm wearing a little bit of color, but kind of the main reason why a lot of this stuff doesn't really get worn that much, but again, it's just kind of having it more of a collector um, than anything. I really appreciate all the clothing, which is why we have been working so hard for the common hype stuff because we know what good quality looks like and we want to make sure that we deliver that to you guys. More hats, Cole Bennett, uh, Flashback USA, shout out to them, gifting me that one. Um, some old common hype hats and then shout out to our boy kill the hype i know a lot of you guys that watch are into fitteds i'm not too crazy into fitteds but i do have some um, this one shout out to my boy big feet he az sold me this this is his like daily when he was pulling up to all the events um, he always had that hat on so i ended up buying one off of him um, and then just some other stuff this was gifted to me from a subscriber uh, shout out to our boy hassan he did this pack um, in his store crazy piece uh, shout out to our boy from houston gifted me this hat right here. We got an orange Fear of God fitted, uh, purple LA fitted. This is also from Asan, and then a Kill the Hype snapback, and then the Supreme one that uh, I picked that up in Houston. Um, shout out to the boys over there. That was one of the more recent pickups right here. We got the uh, Rip and Dip figure from Designer Con. If you guys watched that video, that's Designer Con Complex Con weekend. Had to have a off white out here. RIP Virgil. This is my favorite of the original three dunks, the pine greens. Um, so I had to have those out. These are all vintage tees, uh, but these are all vintage tees with big graphics. So there's a lot more color on this one, as you guys can see, than over there. 
I will pull out a couple of them because I collect some of the big ones such as Betty Boop t-shirts. So I'll show you a few of the Betty Boops. This is a Betty Boop on a no fear tag, which is no way. Yeah, one of the craziest pieces I have in my collection. This is gifted to me um, by More Heat on my birthday last year. Um, so much love for them over there. Always holding it down. A lot of this vintage has came from them um, and the work that we've done together. More Betty tees. It's a gray one. This is the uh, Nike Betty boob tee on white. Another Betty tee. This is my most recent Betty pickup. That's, crazy, that's crazy right? all over graphic. Oh, no. uh, Kobe's. Kobe's, that's right. Yeah, I picked this up at Kobe Swap Meet. Can't wear this yet more of a spring summer vibe but you guys will be seeing it matter of fact while we're here give myself the the soft plug follow me on the ig follow me on the gram that's where the fits get busted out i don't really post too much because i'd rather just focus on common hype content but i know at some point um, a lot of this stuff should get thrown on the body and thrown onto the feet another betty t pick this one up in houston Really cool one, don't want to unfold it. A uh, bunch of Bulls tees. This Beatles tee was gifted to me when we went to uh, New Jersey for an event. Shout out to the homie that gifted me this one. Um, this one's actually pretty cool too. So this right here is a Super Bowl 30 uh, vintage tee. It was actually in Arizona. The, the crazy Arizona graphic. Uh, this is 1996 on a starter with the starter badge on the side, single stitch. A lot of these are single stitch. Definitely one of my cooler vintage graphics for sure. You guys need the folding lesson? Let me show you the folding lesson real quick. You're like, Bri, how do your stacks look so nice? Let me give you the rundown. All right, you hit it with the half fold around the neck, then you fold the you fold the sleeve in. Same thing on the other side, right up to the neck. Hit it with the half fold, and with the full fold. You got a great looking folded t-shirt right there. How about it? Hey, don't mention it. Don't mention it. Dude, I just destroyed this pile though. I skipped through some really good tees too, but just don't really want to go through all of them. There's a bunch of Bulls tees in this stack. One of them um, being right here, but these are all from my dad's personal collection. He came down with a box one day and was just like, have at it. Um, and that's where the hats were too. There was like 10 vintage hats. Um, the rest are somewhere else. I don't know where, but they're somewhere. I definitely didn't sell them. And he just had a bunch of championship tees because uh, that's our team. Fortunately, they're not very good, but uh, yeah, that's the team. All right, I'm not gonna go through this one fully. Um, it's just a bunch of no fear, some embroidered stuff right here, um, some more blanks, and then just random stuff. No fear, no fear, no fear. Just basically no fear, to be honest. Um, and then a couple newer tees, but mostly that. Another one of my favorite pairs, I picked these up in Boston um, from an event. Shout out to the homie that sold me these, but I got my black toe backs. Definitely needed those back in the collection. A lot of my shoes are Chicago colorway. Um, all my sneakers are in my main room, but I have some of my favorites sprinkled around in here. All right, this is the first clothing rack. Um, this is all graphic t-shirts, so just an assortment of literally everything. Um, but down here, we'll go through them real quick. I got all my Travis's, so I got reverse mochas, I got the fragments, and then I got the OGs. Definitely my favorite pair. Um, shout out to Hassan, I got these from off Hassan uh, my birthday one year. I think it was my 20th birthday. Um, so shout out to Hassan and uh, the rest I got taxed for. So we're just gonna keep moving. <laughs> just a bunch of graphic tees. I'll go through some of my favorites. Um, as you guys can see, everything in here is co color coordinated for a reason, because there's just so much stuff. So I just, I know where everything is if I can see it laid out like this. For example, if Ben were to stroll in here one morning and pick a tee off the rack, I would know. I just got a sense like, I know when stuff's not where it's supposed to be. I don't remember what year this was from, maybe like 2017, 18. Um, that was a cool piece. A lot of big face tees in here. Big graphics, common hype stuff. Shout out to our boy Blake. Goes crazy on the graphics. Power Rangers tee. I'll actually pull a couple of Blake's tees. Side note, just picked up some of my first hidden tees. Looking really good. Actually, like we're a pre-order, so I ordered them and they took like four or five weeks to, to pull up, but they ended up getting here. Another side note, shout out to our boy Dez. Not gonna say too much. He knows who he is, but uh, bless me with the Stussy tee. And like I mentioned earlier, a lot of this stuff has just been here forever. So like a, this Pink Dolphin t-shirt, for example. Remember when Pink Dolphin was hot, Ben? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> back in the day. Had to get one, had to get one. There's a crazy tee. Blake's tees, the Intervention tee we showed you guys on the video the other day. Big face Drake tee, and he does a really good job. So shout out to our boy. Some more Bound by Soul pieces. There's actually a black version of this one right here. And they did the shoulder stitch in pink, but uh, they did two airbrush tees last season. 
so you know I had to pick them up. Um, I went by another tee, so I got a couple Cole Bennett pieces. Um, you guys have maybe seen some in the previous videos. Uh, this one right here, I'm directing a video today. There's also a hat. It's not even here, it's in my office um, over at the store. Here's another Cole Bennett tee. Just shoot. Shout out to my boy Hayden. He actually hit and sold it to me because he knew I needed it and I'm never on my phone, so. I did not see that update. And then last Cole Bennett tee I got is the black version. Um, shout out to Vic. He actually blessed me with the the white one. So Vic, if you're watching, I appreciate you, bro. Very, very kind gift. You shouldn't have, but you did. Um, another hidden tee. I wore this one the other day. Sick graphic on that one. Common hype stuff. Some old common hype stuff too. If you guys are OG OG, you'll remember the, uh, the OG Japan tees. Then we got the uh, common hype staff tee. And we got another really good piece. I actually just finished up the design today um, for some hoodies that we're gonna try and get you guys like February-ish. Uh, Kith tee right here. This one was gifted to me as well. One of my favorite tees. Actually, we didn't fit check me yet, Ben. Right here, I got the Noter Converse. Inside goes crazy. I got the uh, Stussy double knee pant, uh, Kith tee, and just like a little loop pullover. Yeah, that's basically it for, uh, for that rack. Got a Kurt Cobain tee. Girls Don't Cry, Birdie, Awake New York. Pick this up at Complex Con. You wouldn't believe it, but I'll come in here and I'll feel like I have nothing to wear every day. So <laughs> it's still a struggle. It's ridiculous. You want to flip me? All right, this rack right here is just going to be strictly hoodies. It would be a pain in the ass to go through all of them, but you guys can see here, Common Hype P90 hoodies. Couple left in stock if you guys want to hit the website. One of my favorite graphics we've done so far. And the response is really well, so I'm glad you guys liked them. People seem to be really messing with them. Same right here with our Lambo hoodie also available online shameless plug can't be mad this right here is a crazy piece dre if you're watching don't shed any tears bro this is actually a nori frey hoodie nori frey is bound by soul before bound by soul it was bound by soul so this is their original company it's the original tag right there and they used to do some crazy cut and sew um still do and they switched the vibe up a little bit and they've been killing it ever since but still an og piece this is probably six seven eight years old probably by now i've had it since then don't really wear it ever but again just kind of one of those pieces you can't really get rid of a bunch of different stuff in here more bound pieces some zip ups love this hoodie 2018 complex con murakami the long beach hoodie definitely rotated very heavily i actually ended up selling the swarovski murakami hoodie um, sold it for a good price and i just never wore it i, ended, I almost wore it to complex con this year uh, but i kind of strayed away this is a really cool vintage piece Harley Davidson, and you got the Harley on both sleeves, which is pretty hard. Pretty thrash cut, it's the 2X, just a giant kind of box hoodie, but it looks really good. Picked that one up in LA when we were in LA for Complex Con. Um, went down to a pop-up over there. Some stuff you guys have maybe seen me wear a couple times in the, in the videos. Um, Kith box logo hoodie, like a vintage Gap zip up hoodie. Shout out to my family over at FKA Collection in the UK. They make a damn good hoodie. And uh, one of my most worn hoodies isn't even in here. Um, I think one. it's in the wash right now, but I have a blue one that I wear all the time um, that you guys are probably familiar with. So drop the green one. Um, shout out to them over there. They're killing it. One of my other favorite pieces, this No Fear hoodie. Shout out to Crystal and Des for blessing me with this a while ago. Um, it's got a big patch on the back. And then you got the embroidery hit quarter zip. Definitely want to do some quarter zips for, for Common Hype Fall Winter next year. Um, really excited to get into some of the cut and sew on the half sips and make you guys a damn good one. And then we'll end this one off right here with a couple No Fear pieces, just kind of like pullover hoodie flannel vibes. Can't really say no to anything that has No Fear on it. So although I don't really wear these, um, just kind of one of those things that's pretty cool to have. Last rack right here just has my tote. My tote has all the stuff that I have in it every day. I take it to the store every day. Um, but I picked this up from ComplexCon. You guys should really go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. It was a really good video. But this rack is going to be all crewnecks uh, for the most part. Got to start it off hot. Yeah, yeah. Common hype. You see it. How about it? Available online. Go shop it. Go shop it. Yeah, yeah. come yeah. on, guys. I actually have some really cool No Fear pieces in here. A lot of you guys ask me, especially when I'm on the Whatnot Lives, um, when I'm wearing No Fear. So I'll just pull some of the No Fear ones, This is most of them. Um, I got a couple more in the other room, but I'll show you guys those at a later date. Front hit right here, all embroidered. And then I love when they do the embroidery on the neck. Definitely take a lot of inspo from No Fear. Like I said, they've been doing it, and it's really cool to go find some of these pieces and, and collect them. Hey, Matt. Hey. Drive it like you stole it. This is a more recent pickup. Shout out to Des for that one. Same thing as the black one, but it's in a different color. Crazy that it's even possible to find them like this, but 
Dez goes and he finds them, especially in the wild. Um, and then another No Fear embroidery right here on the front. Um, and then some other cooler pieces. Mac Miller's one of my favorite artists, so we got the Mac Miller uh, Reborn piece. Shout out to my boy Reborn that did the pants I showed you guys earlier. Um, a couple pieces that I just can't seem really to get rid of, but I just never wear them. Um, this Miami Dolphins. I need to wear that. Knitted sweater. Um, yeah, this is a really loud piece, so I don't really wear it like that. And I don't really care for the Dolphins, to be honest. Um, this is a Super Bowl crew neck, Super Bowl 30, same year, 1996, as the T I showed you guys. So any like Arizona pieces, I just think it's cool. I've lived here my whole life. Um, it's always been home. So anytime I can get a piece like that, I'll usually try and pick it up if it's a good price. There actually is a couple No Fear pieces that I want you guys to see in this video. So I'm gonna go grab a couple of four. So there's a couple pieces in there, some of them more recent than others. Um, this reminded me of the Nike CPFM drop that they did um, with like the big poncho. But as you guys can see right there, it's No Fear. Crazy piece, big hit on the back. This might be a No Fear bootleg just because a lot of the Mexico pieces um, are like bootleg pieces, but nonetheless, still really cool stuff that you just never see. Um, so this is a really cool piece. I'm excited to wear this one at some point. This piece right here, I picked off Dez uh, probably like a year ago. Um, I finally got him to sell it to me, but you guys can see that big No Fear tag right there. Crazy varsity jacket, denim piece. I almost broke it out today um, and I ended up not, but really cool piece. Still haven't even worn that one yet. It's just kind of a day I'll wake up and I'll throw it on, but that day just wasn't today. Another No Fear piece right here, another varsity jacket brown suede sleeve definitely more stiff piece because of the material but i mean still a pretty wicked piece big embroidery on the back hit and then this one I picked up the same time as that first piece it's like a big ass trench coat uh, but it's got like no fear hits on the pocket um, the lab the tag. Code, yeah i've never seen anything like this but like i just really want to go to new york throw on my tims bro like that thing coat. looks crazy it looks like he's ready to uh what do I look like? I'm ready. Yeah. Like solve a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the bottom of something. Yeah. And then a couple of the pairs down here. Uh, this spot's missing because I'm wearing the Noter Converse right now. Another pair of Converse that dropped a while ago. No special collab or anything. I just really liked them, so I picked them up. I've been wearing Converse and Vans forever. Obviously, we're very into sneakers, but for the most part, daily-wise, I wear Converse, my slides, or uh, maybe a Dunk every once in a while, but it's usually stuff I'm comfortable with because my foot is really flat. Off-white's right here. And then I got the Golf LaFleur Tyler the Creator Converse. Probably wore these once and I got them like three years ago, but I don't know, maybe I'll break them out one day. I feel like that mentality is the reason I have so much of this stuff is that maybe I'll wear it one day. Some of it I do, some of it I don't, but um, I've sold a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff gets rotated, believe it or not but some of the pieces that I've had forever just kind of stick around. Thank you for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment down below your favorite part of the video and subscribe to the channel. Maybe if this video does well, maybe we'll go in the closet and give something away to someone down in the comments because I got plenty of stuff to give away. So maybe we'll do a little giveaway. Let me know what you guys think about that. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy. We're downstairs right now. We're going to continue this on at a later point, but the part two to this video will be a completed house tour and maybe we'll revisit the closet and check out some other cool pieces I've stashed away. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys again for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.